Hi everybody, welcome to the Manful channel. For the third in our series of working uh, videos working with uh, Kobo Toolbox, uh, let's take a look at how easy it is to uh, create a, a connection to our Kobo, to our data on, on, on the Kobo servers with a single click, and uh, then how to copy and paste that data from the Kobo servers onto into some other uh, destination, for example, uh, an enterprise DBMS package. We're looking at Manifold System Release 9 here. We just created a new project. And to create a connection to the Kobo toolbox servers, all I do is create here is right click into the project pane, choose create, new data source, and here's a favorite that I've created called My Kobo Data. When I click that with a single click, we've established a live connection to the uh, Kobo toolbox servers. In this case, we're using the uh, free server that uh, is appropriate for everyone, anyone to use and not just humanitarian users. And you can see that as we've expanded the data source, it automatically shows you the data that's in that Kobo server. This is the same data that we've collected in the, in the first uh, video and then used in the second video. And it shows our restaurants in Chartered. If I uh, double click open that uh, uh, restaurants one table, it's going to collect that data. And you can see uh, we have uh, data on three different restaurants that we've, that we've uh, collected. And uh, this is a live connection. If uh, somebody out in the field is currently using the form that created in the first video and is adding additional restaurants to this, this uh, data source will automatically populate itself, uh, re automatically refresh itself every five minutes to update. If we want, we can right click on the data and manually update that if that's what we prefer to do. Uh, most people just let it automatically refresh every five minutes, which will capture any new records that have been contributed from you know, people working in the field or any changes uh, uh, using uh, you know, the various uh, admin uh, dialogues and web pages on Kobo Toolbox to add or delete fields and that sort of thing. So it's a fully live connection. Now let's say we want to take this uh, data that we have here and uh, we want to copy it to our Postgres SQL server. That's easy to do. I'm going to right click here and first create a data source for that. And there again, I'm going to use a favorite. And the favorites is, is our, a favorite is created using the favorites dialog that just takes just a couple clicks. And then thereafter, uh, all we need is a single click and we can connect you know, using the credentials that we've stored and all that to the uh, database. I expand that database and uh, you can now see that's, uh, that's what's inside our Postgres SQL server. Uh, you can use folders inside of a man manifold uh, project to uh, better organize the data that you see within the Postgres server. Uh, and uh, that's, that's what we're doing right there. So okay, so let's say we want to uh, uh, copy uh, uh, this restaurant's one location and uh, this table and this drawing. This is the drawing which visualizes the uh, Postgres data, and we want to copy the, the rather the Kobo data, and we want to copy that into the Postgres server. That's easy to do. We uh, click this, and then Control click that. That's standard Windows highlighting maneuvers. So now that we've uh, highlighted that, we can uh, click Copy, and then down here in the server, we can choose uh, uh, Paste, and that'll paste it into the server. So all we did is we just copied the data from here, and we pasted it there. And uh, you can see that that's that's that easy. And uh, uh, if we double click this open here. That's now, now we're taking a look at that inside the Postgres server. Uh, note, by the way, this is a, a, a slight uh, kind of inside baseball thing. The background here is white. That's because this is fully read-write editable, whereas the data in the Kobo data uh, server is not read-write editable. We want to leave that read-only because that's, that's data that we want to collect from the field, and we don't want people kind of going in there and, and, and altering it. If we, if, we want the pe if we want people to be able to alter that data, we're going to copy that into our, uh, home, our home servers. Uh, and this could be anything. This could be Postgres SQL. This could be Oracle. You know, whatever server they were using, MySQL, SQL Server, any of those things. I, I just happen to use uh, Postgres SQL because that's the server that we have here on the local area network where I'm at the facility where I'm filling this. Uh, if we want to copy these uh, this uh, same data and we want to uh, send it, say to send it out to a shapefile, that's easy to do it as well. Uh, highlight it, click uh, copy, down here, click paste, and I've now made a local copy in the local Manifold project. And uh, I can uh, change that uh, uh, by renaming um, you know, however we want it to be, and let's call this, uh, let's rename that to restaurants. And uh, I should probably rename the table too, let's rename the table. And uh, let's uh, just rename the table. I'll call that restaurant's table. There. Uh, and um, okay, suppose I just want I want to export this uh, uh, data that I that I just copied and pasted. I want to export it to say a shapefile. That's easy to do. I just right click that and choose a uh, export. And uh, here, what I'll do is I'll uh, export it to here. And I'll, let's call this uh, let's call that restaurants. And uh, right click export, and uh, there it's done. I've just exported it as a shapefile. So any data that you have in your Kobo uh, uh, toolbox uh, data source, you can export that into pretty much whatever format you want, any database you want, and it's just as easy as a copy and paste. 
Uh, the nice thing is, by the way, if you remember when we copied and pasted the data from here from Co from Cobox from the Co from the Cobo data uh, data source into the Postgres SQL enterprise database, uh, any geo data that's there, for example, if you have any uh, geo points or uh, uh, the lines or areas or anything else that we've collected, all that is uh, going to be automatically uh, matched into the correct coordinate system inside uh, Postgres. You know, uh, Manifold understands the SRID uh, projections coordinate systems used by all the major spatial databases uh, and understands uh, many, many thousands of them, in fact, the entire EPSG system. So it'll do all that dynamically. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Manifold will do that for you. Anyway, it's that easy to use, as you can see. Uh, any data that you have in, you, uh, in Kobo Toolbox, you can connect to that Kobo uh, toolbox uh, data server with a single click and uh, then you can copy the data from there and paste it into whatever de destination you want uh, with no need to do any coding or uh, uh, any of that fancy stuff. It's, it's certainly the easiest way to get data out of Kobo and Kobo toolbox and into your uh, enterprise databases or into any other file format. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more visit us at www.manifold.net as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, Manifold.net. See you soon.